You can use a foam roller or a stability ball or some pillows to try to pin that knee against the wall. Notice that my other knee is elevated. I'm going to do a T-spine rotation to one side. Then the other side is going to do a big arm reach. And I'm nice and close to that wall. So I have to really reach with the shoulder. Pushing out to the one side, having that thumb facing that side so it stretches the chest. And it's going now up and over my head, and I keep that other side nice and planted. Notice that I try to keep the tension on that ball that's pushing into the wall. This keeps my hips nice and neutral, and it keeps my core nice and rigid. I also try to have my eyes follow my hands as often as I can. So as I rotate out, I make sure that I look at my hand as I'm rotating. I exhale at the end. I come back. I wash my hands up and over. I exhale at the end. Again, from this angle, you can see that my inside knee is slightly elevated and that the right knee is pushing against the wall. A lot of the same viewpoints here, except you can tell that as I rotate that I keep my thumb just slightly above my chest so I get that good rotation where my shoulders coming down and back as I do that, reaching around really focusing on the shoulder blade, guiding my hands through this range of motion. Turning through, pushing against that wall with that ball, or if you have a foam roller or whatever you can to have that separation is gonna be really key. And making sure when you're going to the other direction that you stay as close as you can to the wall so that it is a, a good challenge to get that arm up and over your head and reaching over. Notice how the thumb kind of slightly changes direction as I do that rotation. 